Good evening, Dr. Ali. We are from Group 10. My name is T So E. Today, we will be presenting our article reviews in relation to our course subject, reading and writing. First, we will go through a short introduction. Uh, introduction proceeding with the first article, second, third, and lastly, the conclusion. So first, our study analyzes the reading and writing strategies in the English language among students in Malaysia. The purpose of this article is to present an analysis of a student's reading and writing skills in depth as an ESL learner. The targeted uh, individuals in the article were ranging from students from primary, secondary, and tertiary school levels. The overall findings of the study found that students where despite having gone through many years of learning English in school and university environment, the learners do still experience difficulty in using correct English grammar in their writing and have a lower interest in reading when it comes to the written learning web materials. So as a result, contrastive and error analysis are two methods of looking at this issue from the standpoint of as a second language learning. Teachers or educators must identify both the grammatical and non-linguistic reason for error when the problem is evident in writing and reading. This can then prepare uh, students uh, more well-oriented and effective strategies in reading as well as writing based on KSSM syllabus. So the first article is titled uh, Reading Interest and its Relationship with Reading Performance, a study of English as second language learners in Malaysia. The authors are, are Siti Noor Mala, Muhammad, Muhammad Nazri, Latif Azmi, and Ishaku Hassan. Publication is 2020, and the journal is Humanities and Social Science Review. They publish uh, from, by research, from ResearchGate, and the type of research is a quantitative research. So the background of the research paper revolves around the significance of English language towards ESL learners in education. This can be said when it comes to the field of expertise such as technical literature or scientific mainly, they use English as a medium. So in this research, it emphasizes on the reading interest using English among students, as reading is the process of extracting meaning either from written or printed language. So this being said, reading can aid in students' academic tasks such as assignment, in which reference of materials and information were assimilated through the process. Also, it helps students to recover details to construct interpretation as well as linking piece by piece of puzzle in comprehending the writer's message. So the problem statement is that students were not interested in reading English content as they find it irrelevant and unnecessary in their daily life. So a burial is created a barrier where they are unable to find passion for reading. So reading activities should be practiced to allow students to explore and nurture their interests. The objective of this study is to examine the relationship of students from Tengarno, Malaysia on the reading interest and reading performance in the ESL classroom. So by achieving this aim, it enables ESL teacher to serve as a guide in rectifying students' difficulty to read. So the literature review is that this study applies information transfer theory as part of theoretical approach that focuses on reading as a process of information transfer. So through this concept, uh, it assists teachers to improve their reading instruction in allowing students' ability to be improved in transferring information from text to their mind. So this theory measures student understanding of text according to how much information is transferred. And with this, readers extract meaning from written materials by processing the text in a linear way to transfer the meaning from the written materials to their mind. So the methodology of this uh, paper is that qualitative methods were applied were surveys in the form of questionnaire that consists of 50, 56 questions and filled by the 351 secondary students, ESL learners in Terengganu. The data gathering instrument were using five-point Likert skills and no one learned reading method based on the MUET reading assessment criteria. So the findings that we found is that students, students mostly read English materials for academic purpose only, and they have different reading interests when it comes to the reading material. Taking tests resulted in desired learning when students increased knowledge after answering the question. So this also shows that the significant relationship between reading interest and performance based on Pearson correlation. The person who deserves most pity is a lonesome on a rainy day who doesn't know how to read. So this is a quote from Benjamin Franklin. 
basically it shows how great reading could be. Hi, hello, I'm Yasmin Badul Hisham, you can call me Yasmin. So as you can see from the previous uh, group mate of mine, she has explained about other part of this article. So my part for this explanation of presentation, I will be explaining about the critical discussion. Right, so for critical discussion from this article, it shows that majority of ESL English as second language students read English materials for academic purposes, which will give them a good feedback for their academic performances. And this shows a method of transferring information where this is very, very important for the students in order to succeed in their studies, which is true reading. And true reading, it will improvise their reading instruction to the students, which linear in, in enhancing students' ability to transfer information from text to their minds, as well as students' comprehension of text through a good technique of reading activities from the teachers will help them to convey information will be better. As for reading interests of ESL students and their performance in ESL classes will linearly increasing. The meaning of reading itself shows that a continuous process in which information is processed and meaning is constructed. And so this play a big role where the need of reading should be expanded to all students in school. Proceed to the reviewer's critical voice. So as my point of view, it shows that students need to be exposed more on good reading habits and for reading interests among ESL learners. It is for the abandonment of them and the teachers itself by focusing on the teachers to be assisting the students in developing reading interest. Teachers as for me will play a very big role for the students in enhancing their reading skills. Selecting appropriate reading materials inspire further research into reading preferences and it will give a very effective outcome to their reading skills and their academic performances. And so teachers should be playing their role on making sure their reading skills will be improvised as for enjoyable reading for the students at the same time. Teaching specific reading skills. Good day, Doctor. My name is Marina Chung, and I will be continuing with recommendations. So, basically, from this article, uh, from this first article, um, parents, teacher, and the society should uh, start encouraging their children to read um, reading materials from online platforms because basically, children nowadays they don't actually uh, read a physical book where there's a lot of pages, numbers, heavy books, uh, type of materials. So they don't actually have that. Um, they don't have the um, commitment and focuses on towards that whole book because the period of time that focuses on that one book it would be very less and it won't be that long so basically they need something that attract them to read more books they could basically read uh, until the very end of the context of the book so basically when we try to read it, uh, write a book maybe it could involve a content about a variety such as uh, TikTok video a video from TikToks or maybe some trends that is going on in around the world right now where the students can actually relate to it. Okay, so after that, for the conclusions, um, as we all know, uh, we can uh, satisfy all of the students' needs towards their uh, reading materials. Basically, we can just satisfy of the reading materials where students uh, can read a whole book, physical book, or from this for online platform or digital platform or just any form of a newspaper so uh, we can actually satisfy all of their uh, preference but they all deliver the same importance where they gain information um, for their own and for their own gain but basically of course it attracts students more uh, if it's involved hot issues around uh, nowadays or maybe something more controversial so that is all for the article 1 we will proceed to article 2 Hey everyone, before I start, my name is Noraina Sabrina Mintabunase and I will be explaining on the article number two, which is the improvement of English writing skill through blended learning among university students in Malaysia. So on to the background of the study uh, of this article, blended learning, and it is this article mentioned how crucial it is to develop written communication skills, self-esteem and interest in learning writing. Writing is far more difficult, complex for used ESL students to grasp than speaking. Students do not see their English reading text as a medium of communication because they do not understand the compositional part of English writing. On to the literature review. 
According to Lloyd Smith, blended learning allows institutions to make the most of their classroom space and resources. Blended learning also provides flexibility for adult students who have a variety of obligations outside of the classroom. According to Trusenko and Yunus, blended learning is required to improve English language ability, particularly among university students. Moving on to the problem statement of this article, is students were found having difficulties in writing text as based in communication. Recent studies also focus on blended approach to address difficulties in language learning due to its various, various of advantages. Regardless of some motivational and technology-related constraints, utilizing communication technology as a part of a classroom developed their students' interests. Objective of the study is to uh, provide students with more appropriate access to quality learning experience. Educators need to discover effective and flexible delivery models instead of utilizing traditional learning method alone. The purpose of this study was to look into the advantage of it with an emphasis on the Malaysian setting for the viewpoint of instructors. Move on, on to the methodology. Qualitative data analysis is particularly interpretive as it is less a completely accurate representation as in the numerical tradition. These steps involve generating natural units of meaning, classifying, categorizing, and ordering these units. The response will analyze based on the original connotation expressed by the respondent. On to the finding. According to the majority of students, blended learning increased students' written communication skills as well as their self-esteem in learning writing. Furthermore, the respondent felt that after learning through the blended learning technique, their self-confidence in writing has improved. Respondent also mentioned that stated that blended learning has boosted their familiarity with writing, utilizing modern communication technology in this regard. Thank you. Now we will continue to the critical discussions. Um, based on the study, we have identified a lot of positive feedbacks from the uh, respondents from the interview from the researchers that have found stated that their self-esteem, their confidence, their motivations, their familiarity, their interest of uh, to improve their writing skills are quite high and it very, is increasing quite drastically. This is because of the blended learning mode has promoted to the student is that. If you even you close your camera, you can still learn. You can still uh, participate actively in the class behind those screen. Uh, this could also uh, cause because this doesn't happen in physical classroom settings because um, the fear of judgment or being the center of a spotlight uh, could attack one of the students and quickly trigger their anxiety, all of the negative. Uh, trauma or attitudes in that classroom setting. So there's a lot of uh, blended learning has promoted to this um, to improve the writing skills uh, for the students to improve, keep improving. Other than that, this uh, learning blended has promoted a lot of students to have their own time, their own uh, class uh, flexibility to do this uh, wherever they go. Uh, they could do it when they're doing a part-time jobs or going to shopping with the family. So for the reviewers' critical voice, um, this blended learning mode has, uh, other than try to improve uh, students' writing skills, it also uh, enhance and develop students' soft skills and their characteristics such as uh, time management, uh, student, le uh, student leadership skills, uh, being active in classroom settings, and so on. But however, this could has also tried to damage their communication skills to other people because in classroom settings, Students have to face and interact with a lot of people, and the, and this uh, blended learning mode, they won't have to go through all of that. They could still behind those closed camera and they still just communicate through virtually like this. So they're just being so comfortable in this type of settings when they try to be in another form of different um, settings, which is physically, they won't be able to be themselves while uh, when they are in physical uh, mode. So there will be so there won't that much of a focus whenever they are in physical, well, um, not as such focus when they are in virtual. Okay. So next is uh, the recommendations for this is that the uh, researchers should find and reach more people for various uh, point of view and their perspective because I believe there's a lot of uh, negative uh, point of view in this uh, blended learning mode to improve students' uh, writing skills. So for this, um, maybe it's the government or the teachers or any schools um, 
setting school, try to improve uh, the learning strategies or try to pro, uh, suggest a type of plan for the students to quickly uh, adapt to both of the situations, which is blend, uh, blended learning mode and also physical class. So they will be so awkward towards those, those both of the settings. So in conclusion, of course, we can say that the blended learning has given a lot of benefits, but in the end of the day, face-to-face um, -face classroom always the best setting is to deliver knowledge towards the students. And maybe could add a little bit twist over it where the lecturers could apply the blended learning tools. So that is all from me. I'll pass to the next presenter. My name is Jessica Yuki Soren and I'm at Poultry. The topic for this journal is the potential use of social media on mission primary students to improve writing. The publisher for this journal is Research Aid, and this is the type of survey re research. This journal has been published on January 2019, and the author is Malur M. D. Yunus Ajaira Sulaiman Sakinal Zakitya. The background of this study is to see the capability of social media among college students, how are they improving their writing talent. Social media is another way or method in improving writing skills. This main research has proved and tested the attitude of youngsters, especially students, to move forward. I mean, they have moved forward using the latest technology tools. The main problem which is stated in this article is students are facing the difficulties to master the writing skill because it requires a lot of knowledge such as spelling errors, grammar, tape conjunction, and so on. Students need to fully equip all these abilities for the writing skill. <clears throat> the main objective of this journal is to study, I mean this main journal, the main objective is to improve the language, teaching and learning as a major change in this new world. Literature review. Mobile mastering is another method of reaching or giving the information from the wide interplay and private interaction social Facebook part and technology. This just applies the small usage a small usage and transportable gadgets to acquire part of the e-learning process classroom. By gaining this knowledge, there is no way being the equal for the reason that preceding creation of ICT in teaching and getting to know more about English. The methodology for this journal, there is this journal is a survey study. There are five sections questionnaire that aim to become uh, aware of respondents about the social media. The findings that has been offered is in six sections. These records were analyzed using frequency and chances. Alright, so proceed to critical discussion. And so, potential use of social media teaching improvisation of writing skills among primary school students' performances happen in this article. So basically, social media will give a very advantageous for ESL educators who wanted to incorporate ICT into their teaching vocabulary. As you can see, social media will really help students in enhancing their writing skills, where implementing social media into the classroom would be very, very great. It breaks down learning barriers and transforms it into a productive learning environment. It will be an easy and useful tool for bridging the communication gap by creating social support and assistance as where the students itself love using social media in order to communicate itself. And it will give a positive impact on student writing performances, performances at the same time. It will give better writers improve their communication skills as well as they will learn different languages while reading model texts. As for the recommendation of this article itself, as for me, it need to have a confidence through this education platform. And as for second point, the teachers need to devise a strategy with students to make writing on social media platforms a regular practice in the classroom. They, they, they need to alter students' previous use of these technologies in planning, structuring and communicating between students during the process as needed. 
that this will help to generate stronger ideas, locate convincing evidence and be more creative in conversation in general. As for the conclusion, it shows that social media platform has a lot of potential for assisting students with their writing skills. Aside from social users and interaction, social media could be improved as a method of integrating teaching and learning and engaging a younger age group. This study is expected to be beneficial to a wide range of parties. The research can also be used to develop online writing activities and authentic networking among younger students, teachers and parents. So as you can see, further research into the actual impact of social media on improving writing skills among younger primary ESL students would be very, very beneficial. That's all. Thank you. Moving on to the conclusion, to summarize, review can serve as a foundation for knowledge creation, provide public policy and practice guidelines, give prove application, identify research gaps, and if done properly, engender new ideas and serve as the foundation for future research part. As a result, we are able to learn theories and concepts in teaching reading and writing by finding and doing article review to accomplish knowledge. That is all from group 10. Thank you so much.